Bismillahirrahmanirrahim My dear students assalamu alaikum My name is Muhammad Nazmi Saqib I am an assistant teacher of English from Khulna district You all know due to corona pandemic our school is closed You cannot attend all the classes on time for that reason we the teachers are taking classes virtually we are taking classes online on that sequence i am also going to take a class of class 8 before starting my class i would like to say something to you my dear students to prevent corona virus you have to strictly follow some rules and regulations you have to follow the health rules you have to wash your hands at least for 20 seconds and you have to wash your hands many times in a day and don't go outside of the home without any urgent situation without any urgent reason if you have to go outside of the house then you have to maintain social distance and when somebody is coughing and when you will cough then just bond your hand like this don't touch your nose your eyes lips and mouth with your hands when you are in outside after returning back after returning home you will have to wash your hands properly at least for 20 seconds and then you will adjourn your works other works so let's proceed to our class today's online class today's class is for class 8 and the selected item is from unit 1 lesson 5 and the title of the lesson is bangladeshi cuisine in the first picture what we can see you can see rice fruits sweets pitas now which one you like best this is your answer so this this these are the food items we like most we eat most we have most so uh, from this you can definitely guess what should be our today's lesson our today's lesson is bangladeshi cuisine class 8 unit 1 lesson 5 so proceed let's proceed after completing the lesson what you will be able to you will be able to read and understand the text through, through silent reading that means after completing the day, text after completing the lesson you can read the lesson fluently you can understand the total text through silent reading that means if you want to understand the total text you have to read silently first and then proceed and then you will be able to infer meaning from the context that means you will collect the word meanings the word meanings you don't know you may not know after finishing the lesson you can know the word meaning and then you can make a list you will be able to make a list and then you will be able to ask and answer questions ask and answer question after completing the lesson you can ask your friends or your classmates some questions and your classmates will be able to answer the questions and then you will be able to write a short composition that's the uh, goal of our today's lesson so let's proceed to our next picture words to know here we can see many words here we can see many words which which is meaning we may not know so i have taken some words unknown words to you so that you can acquainted with the new words so firstly uh, i have taken the words delicious delicious means tasty yummy in bengali that is called sushadu appetizing that means grows hunger feeling hungry and then the next word is snacks 
स्नैक्स मीन्स फूड्स लाइक बर्गर चॉप केक चिप्स एट्सेट्रा दीज फूड आइटम्स यू नो वेरी वेल बिकॉज यू आर फाउंड ऑफ दिस काइंड ऑफ फूड आइटम्स एंड दिस इज कॉल्ड स्नैक्स स्नैक्स इन बेंगोली दिस इज कॉल्ड हल्का नाश्ता हल्का खबर एंड द नेक्स्ट वन इज फ्रेश वाटर फ्रेश वाटर मीन्स वाटर विदाउट सॉल्ट वाटर विदाउट सॉल्ट दैट मीन्स प्योर वाटर इन इन द साउथ साउदार्न पार्ट ऑफ आवर कंट्री द वाटर आर सो मच सॉल्टी सो द वाटर इज सो वेरी मच सॉल्टी एंड दिस काइंड ऑफ वाटर मे बी हार्मफुल फॉर आवर हेल्थ सो वी शुड टेक वाटर विदाउट सॉल्ट प्योर वाटर वी शुडेंट एट वी शुडेंट ड्रिंक दिस काइंड ऑफ सॉल्टी वाटर so next uh, serve serve means give to give to serve that means poribeshan kora in bengali uh, when we take dinner and lunches our mother our moms and our elder sisters uh, serve our dinner serve our dishes that is called serve poribeshan kora and then next next word is prepare prepare means to make to produce toiri uh, kora our dishes uh, are uh, being ready by our moms or my by our elder sisters and then uh, it is uh, prepared and it is, then it is served in our lunches and dinners then next one is platter platter means main dish platter is some uh, some uh, com- uh, platter is combination of uh, some foods when we take uh, lunch and dinners uh, our staple food is uh, rice and uh, with rice we uh, eat uh, curry lentil soups we eat meat we eat fish and so on so platter is mean pl- platter means combination of some foods in our uh, uh, in uh, nowadays uh, we can see uh, many rest- in many rest- restaurants uh, they offer some platters that means some items of foods okay do uh, so uh, next one is festival festival means occasion occasion like eid pahela boishak puja christmas and uh, we are very acquainted with these kinds of uh, festivals festivals means utsav in bengali so we enjoy we very much enjoy in this uh, uh, festivals uh, especially in uh, uh, eid pahela boishak and puja and christmas so next one is In the next picture, we can see spices. Spices means mosala, molasses. Molasses means in Bengali, good. Boiled rice, that means shiddo bhat. Snacks, halka khabar. Shondesh, it's kinds of kind of sweet. And pickles, pickles in Bengali, that means achar. So uh, we all are, uh, we all know the uh, these kinds of uh, foods item, and uh, oftenly we eat these kinds of food items. next one is soaked rice soaked rice means bhejano bhat that means bhejano chal and soaked rice basically it calls panta bhat and green chili green chili means kacha chal and onion onion means peyaj and syrup syrup means soup here we can see carp some fishes and fishes are carps rui katla catfish dried fish prawn these fish are these fishes are uh, very much common in our country uh, carp rui mach katla 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 fish that means katla mach catfish magur mach dried fish shutki mach prawn that means chingri mach in this uh, among these fishes uh, dried fish is very uh, sweet and uh, very uh, delicious to eat and uh, prawn is also very sweet and uh, delicious to eat uh, we uh, always take in our curries and vegetables prawn is a common fish so then in the next picture we can see rasgulla sandesh uh, uh, rasmalai gulab jamun kalu jamun chamcham these are the items of sweets many items of sweets are mentioned here you can also check out this and uh, 
you all are familiar with the sweets like uh, rasgulla sandesh rasmalai gulab jamun kalu jamun chamcham these sweets are basically used for uh, many occasion like eid puja uh, pahela boishak uh, christmas and uh, in other occasion like birthday uh, like wedding um, like anniversary when we attend some uh, relative's house uh, for such kinds of occasion we bring sweets it is our bengali tradition so the next picture is our staple food boiled rice is our staple food it is served with variety of vegetables we can as uh, we can see variety of vegetables here uh, and curry that means torkari and uh, lentil soups mushri dal we can see here fish and meat mach ebong mangsho that means uh, we, here we can see our uh, platter a traditional bengali platter we often uh, take this uh, in our lunches and dinners so the next next one is panta ilish panta ilish is a traditional platter of panta bhat it is steam rice soaked in water and served with fried ilsha fish often together with dried fish pickles lentil soups green chilies and onion here we can see in the picture a platter of boiled rice here we can see some green chilies some onion some smashed potatoes some uh, onions and uh, a fried ilsha fish so this is a traditional platter and this platter is uh, oftenly taken by us in the uh, uh, occasion of pahela boishak so uh, without this kind of platter uh, our pahela boishak tradition uh, our pahela boishak celebration will uh, is uh, totally uh, I I I imperfect or in incomplete so uh, this is a very uh, common and popular platter for our country so the next one is the people of bangladesh are fond of sweets bangladeshi women are uh, women prepare traditional sweets pitha is a type of uh, sweets made from rice flour sugar syrup molasses and milk here we can see some pithas uh, made by our women in bangladesh and they made it uh, from uh, flour uh, that's moida sugar syrup molasses and milk so uh, this pitha is so much uh, popular in our uh, country um, um, every people uh, uh, have this pithas uh, in every season mostly in winter but uh, in every season uh, we can uh, uh, have uh, we can find this kinds of pitha during winter pitha utsav meaning pitha festival the next picture is uh, we can see here a, a, a pitha utsav pitha utsav is organized by different group of people uh, in our uh, country many school colleges ar arranges uh, some pitha utsav and uh, many societies many uh, groups uh, many organizations are uh, use uh, are uh, arranging this kinds of pitha utsav um, uh, nowadays so this is a very common phenomena this is a common picture in our uh, nowadays uh, society so pitha utsav is really very much uh, a, a true factor of our uh, culture so next one is sweets of bangladesh are milk based sweets of bangladesh are milk based uh, the, there are 100 types of sweets sweets are distributed among those uh, relatives uh, when there is good news like births wedding promotion etc as you, uh, as i already uh, already uh, mentioned uh, the uh, sweets are distributed uh, to our relatives house in a, a many occasions like birthday like wedding promotion or like very, any good news so uh, sweets are very uh, uh, sweets uh, uh, sweets are a part of our, part and parcel of our life so now uh, individual work uh, i uh, i want to know uh, about your uh, uh, reading skill so say this sentence as fast as you can like this you, you can check it uh, from my point of view casual clothes are provisional for leisurely trips across asia so you can uh, check it for yourself and uh, you can practice it uh, uh, for yourself and uh, you will go through the text like this and uh, check it out that uh, how much fluent you are in reading 
in your context in in the uh, in your textbook so next one is uh, pair work you should uh, pair, uh, pairly work uh, you should uh, describe the Bangladeshi food that you like best uh, when uh, you are uh, since you are staying at home if your brother or sisters uh, are in the same class so you can uh, come uh, share with your views uh, with this kind of pairs pair off uh, from this lesson you can make a pair work describe a Bangladeshi food that you like best describe and make two list of foods on eaten by urban and the other by the rural rural area uh, the rural area uh, uh, in one side and the urban uh, rural, uh, urban area in one side make a list of things that you and your partner eat every day you and your partner eat every day that you have to make a list uh, here is your part and here your is, is your uh, partner's part so make two lists uh, side by side okay then group study read the text in b and find out the question answer then uh, when you are uh, studying in group uh, then you can uh, uh, ask these questions and answer these questions what the questions is questions are uh, what has made uh, bangladeshi food so special number two where do we get fishes from number three ap uh, apart from fish uh, what other food do we take with rice number four why are sweets an important part of our life okay the next one is evaluation uh, I, I, I want to evaluate your uh, skill uh, so uh, you should answer this kind uh, this uh, true and true or false if false give the correct answer uh, you can see well, number one our foods are rich uh, because of heavy oil true or false number two on Pahela Boishak the traditional food is steamed rice and uh, fried hilsha true or false three uh, peach house shop takes place uh, almost all the year true or false uh, number four sweets are not much appreciated in Bangladesh true or false if false write the correct statement homework so uh, you should write a homework uh, write a short composition on Bangladeshi cuisine and uh, this is the class this is the online class uh, uh, so thank you my dear students and uh, thank you uh, for uh, watching my online class uh, very concentrately and uh, uh, i think uh, you will do the homework on time and present in the next time so that's it uh, thank you assalamu alaikum